Good morning, everybody. Let's go metal detecting. Um, I wanted to show you something real quick. If you remember the episode um, where I found the crotal bell, I'll try to remember to link that in the, uh, this video if you haven't seen it. Um, I found my first complete crotal bell just a couple of weeks ago, minus the little tab that you hold on to, so I put a little bread tie in there so that you could hear it dingle again. Um, this this is a really cool find for me. But just uh, last weekend, my daughters and I went to a Amish community called Shipshawana near where we live. Um, and if you think about it, the Amish still have horse and buggies. And one of the things that the crotal bell was used for back in the day was on horses and buggies and stuff to let other horse and buggies know that you're coming if you're coming around a corner or whatever. I would have never thought, though, it just didn't strike me that because they still have buggies, they might still be making crotal bells. But we went into one of the hardware stores, and I found this. A modern crotal bell. This is the number three, one and three-eighths version, which is the modern-day equivalent of this sucker. That's 150-plus years older. How cool is that? That was that was one of my greatest discoveries that weekend. So let's go out and see if we can find some more good discoveries. Got my first interesting find here. Um, look at the patterning on that. The gnats are driving me nuts this morning. Um, I think this might be one of those cigarette tip things where you put the cigarette in it and you draw through it. If so, this would be like from the like Roaring Twenties or whatever they were called. I think that's when that would be from. That's pretty cool if that's the case. I get it cleaned up more later to try to ID it, but I think that's what that is. That's pretty cool. Let's get all the naps. This is a bit different. Does anybody know what that is? Do you recognize it? It's pretty modern, actually. You put, uh, if it'll focus properly here, you put the wire part of that there through uh, the head of a needle and then stick your thread down through the loop there and then pull it back through the needle and it uh, helps you thread a needle. I, Since I have uh, been in the military, I do know how to sew. And I have some of these at home. Interesting to find one out in the middle of nowhere. I got myself the top to a salt or pepper shaker. That sucker was deep too. It was way down there, about uh, uh, close to eight inches, about seven inches. <laughs> I think it is completely modern, though, unfortunately. And I keep the uh, streak rolling with uh, bus tokens. I found three of them in one spot here, and I don't think that's a four-leaf clover. Boy, I could take the bus all over town with all the ones I've got gathered up here. Just pulled this big old honker from the ground. I don't know if it's silver or not. I'm going to have to clean it up. I don't think it is. But it is a big sucker. I mean, I could put this on my wrist, almost. It doesn't feel like aluminum. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Let's, uh, let's get it cleaned up and see what it looks like. This was ringing up like uh, between an 89 and a 90. This is just a regular old quarter. I guess it wanted to be found. Kind of data we got there. Uh, can't tell. Sixty six. Dang, so close. Nice though. We'll take it. Got another one just a couple of feet away. It wanted to be found also. Let's see if we can find out what date this is. Oh my gosh, getting closer. 65. 
One more year. Come on, we can do it. Oh, focus there. Got a little bit of a payoff. There's the impression, and you can see the coin that fell down in there. And it is. I know it's a Wheaty. I've already looked. It's a 56 Wheaty. Yay. All right. So, no silver, but this is a wheat. I got my first wheat for the day. Whoops, and I just dropped it. Thought I had myself a penny here. This was ringing up a 75, just like a stupid. Uh, zinc penny and it's a key <laughs> cool I wonder what it's to it up just like a bottle cap so I thought uh, here we go here's another bottle cap check that out there's a couple of quarters sit that over here in my glove and check this out something still in this little clump here Penny, oops. It's a zinc. Got me a 51 cent spill there. Cool, we'll take her. And there we go, if you can take a look at that. Let's get it in the sunlight here. Zoom back out. We got us a wheat penny, hey. It's raining. I don't care. 1955D. Good shape, too. We'll take her. That's the second one for the weekend. Still no silver, but we're looking. This is an unexpected find. 50 centavos. I don't know if there's a date on this anywhere. What is that? What does that say? Portugal? Oh, and there's a date right at the bottom. It's like 1970. That is cool. That is a cool find. What's it? Five? Number five on the dice? <laughs> That's cool. I've never seen one of these. I like it. And the strange finds continue. Check this out. That is Queen Elizabeth. Oops. That is dropped in the hole. 1966 Canadian nickel. And look how clean and sh uh, shiny this is. I don't know if the Canadian nickels had any kind of silver content to them at all. But that is very cool. Look how clean it is. I like that. I'm going to have to check that out a little closer. But that's cool. Gotta love the beaver. Hey guys, got my headband on because it's uh, humid out and uh, I'm sweating. I have a ring in the hole. I don't know if it's real or not, but let's find out. There she blows. She was down there a little ways, uh, about four or five inches. Oh, that's pretty. I think this is going to end up just being a kid's ring here. But, uh, cool find. Where is it? There's the heart. That's pretty cool. I'll look on the inside, see if I can find any markings, but I think we just got us a kid's ring. Tell me something. What is it with bullets at all the schools? I am at another school and I found, I don't know what size it is. Can you tell? I don't have my glasses on so I can't tell. I just don't get it. That sucker was down there too. Uh, not too far, about three, four inches, but what is it with the bullets in the schools? Don't like that. I have, I don't have a silver smile. I have a gold smile. I haven't got down too close, but I think this one might be the real deal. Fingers crossed. Let's go find out. Can you see it down there? Let's get a little bit closer.
right there. A oh, tiny little thing. Look at that. It's got just the right amount of weight to be real gold. Real thin. I mean, this is probably maybe a gram at most. Uh, I think that's some markings. Let me get a little bit closer and look at it, and uh, I'll get back to you. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's real worn inside, so this, this looks like it's been worn for a while. Oops, I'm losing track of it. See right there? It's worn, but it looks like that says 18K. I'll test it when I get home to be sure, but that is a humdinger of a find, isn't it? Hey guys, I'm outside right now because it was too nice to go inside and I didn't want to go inside. Um, got done with metal detecting, got some stuff done around the house, washed the car, polished the motorcycle up real good and then went out uh, riding it for about an hour and I still don't want to go inside. Uh, so I'm sitting outside with a table in front of me with my finds for the weekend. And it was a pretty good weekend, I have to say. I, I dug a lot of holes. I am pooped. So let me show you what I got. I moved the table out in the sun a little when I was filming it in the shade. It didn't look all that good. Um, there's my clad. A bunch of clad. I dug a lot of coins this weekend. There's a lot of holes in general. There's all the crusty zinc pennies I can't do anything with. Those won't go through a coin counter. And the wind is messing this up. But I did get a few somewhat older coins. 69, 66, and a 65 quarter. Wouldn't be one of my episodes if I didn't have a 65. I got a 67 dime, 68, 67, two 64s, a 63, and a first year Lincoln, 59. And we'll get back to this other stuff in just a moment. Um, I had some interesting stuff I found. I got three bus tokens. Don't know what the heck this is. It's uh, kind of cool looking. It's squished. Don't know what it is. My salt and pepper, or salt or pepper um, top. This looks like a bullet, but it's too, too light. I'm not real sure exactly what it is. It's probably just junk. I found two of these little metal discs. They're identical, and I found them probably... 25 30 feet apart from each other don't know what that is zipper pull that key um, I'm not sure whether that's part of a spoon bowl or not I can't tell for sure this feels like lead found a cool button there check that out it's an iron back but it's got a little bit of age to it probably no further back than the 50s or so though not that bad Cool little button. There's that uh, thing for threading the needles. That uh, bracelet is aluminum. It's a cool looking bracelet. It needs to be flattened out. There's that cool little kid's ring. Uh, this is a 38 special bullet and it's complete. If you look in the tip of it there, you'll see the bullet itself is squished down inside the case. You see the back end of it there and it looks like it was hit with a lawnmower so it was dropped intact and probably hit with a lawnmower or something I would have never thought i'd found anything like that that's kind of cool um then let's drop down here to the finds of the weekend i found a couple of canadians one is a 63 that's kind of cool uh and then i found that 66 canadian uh nickel which is all nickel very nice shape too. Gorgeous coin. I like that. Found the 50 centavos. Republica. Uh, Portugal is what that is. 1970. Isn't that a cool design? The five dice. I guess they like to gamble. Got a 56 and a 55 wheatie. And this beautiful little gold ring. This is about to roll off the table. 
This is 18 karat. I mean, look at the wear on this thing, though. You can see the thin spots on it. And if you look inside um, at that marking on it, I don't know if you can see it there. It's just wore out. Somebody wore this ring a long, long time. Look at the thinning where the that thins right there. It is 1.1 gram, so I was awfully darn close. That is the finds for the weekend, though. <laughs> Trying to get back into the shade now. Um, had a good weekend. Like I said, I'm tired, though. I'm bushed. I was out for probably a total of about 10 hours this weekend altogether. Um, found a new place that I didn't even know existed. I was coming back from my new favorite location. Just happened to see it. It's a school. I'm like... There's a school there? Really? Never even realized it was there. Checked it out. It is a public school. And um, does not look like it's ever been detected. That's where I found the 65 and the 66 quarters there. So stay tuned. I will be hitting that place up some more and hopefully finding some silver there. Till then, talk to you guys later. And hope you have some uh, great luck and uh, happy hunting. Uh, I'm back inside. I'm an idiot. I did forget something. I got a giant spoon bowl there that was all folded over. Um, and this is another great find from the weekend. This is a cigarette holder that, as far as I can tell, probably dates back to about the 20s or 30s. Um, thought that was a really cool find, too. So that's almost a hundred. That's somewhere close to 90 to 100 years old. I thought that was pretty cool. Anyway. Now we're really done. See you guys later.